Hi again. Thanks for letting Sports Center flow. Alongside Rich Eisen, I'm Stuart Scott. Every night before I went to sleep, I made sure to catch the latest highlights on Sports Center. For me, it was always must see TV to check out. Stuart Scott, 11 o'clock on Sports Center. Stuart Scott, he was the extra roommate for all of us in college. We knew he went to UNC. We had him on our TV. We welcomed him into our homes. It was awesome to be represented. UNC is like nobody Duke has faced, and this rivalry is like no other in college hoops. He was one of the biggest and baddest personalities at ESPN and someone that we all draw so much from. I asked him to do a promo for our Carolina Week student news show. Without blinking an eye, he looked right in our camera and said, Yo, what's good? I'm Stuart Scott. When I'm not anchoring SportsCenter, I'm watching Carolina Week. Boo Yow. For me, Boo Yow is just, it's an expression of energy. It's a short, quick, strong, fun, dynamic expression of energy. So that way you can use it in football, you can use it in baseball. A nice tennis winner right down the baseline, you can use it there. Can't really use it on a putt, really, because, you know, Booyah is like, it's loud, and you got to talk like this in golf anyway. But like Tiger on the tee box, ripping like a 315-yard drive, that could be a Booyah, just energy. <clears throat> strong Booyah! Energy. It was really just his whole lexicon that influenced me just in the way I talk. As a young sports anchor, you want to find your voice, right? One thing that I always loved about Stuart Scott is that he wasn't afraid to be himself. Understand whatever is different from you is just that. It's just different. I was in college trying to find my voice, wondering how I could be great, how I could be different. He showed me that I better stick to news. I don't know how he did what he did off the top of his head with that wit, but that was his domain and I'm perfectly content staying in news. I don't know many people who could come close to how he could describe a play, whether it was basketball, baseball, football, college sports, pro sports. The guy was a genius on the fly. In my first on-air job, I'm ad-libbing high school football highlights one Friday night and a kid jumps over the pile for a touchdown. I instinctively say, you got to rise up. And the Lord said you got to rise up. Uh. That's Stuart Scott. I didn't want to copy him, but his catchphrases are just ingrained in my head from probably the thousands of times watching him on TV. Stuart Scott had this way about him of reminding you that sports are supposed to be fun. Whether you're playing them or watching them or reporting on them, you should be having fun. Thank you, Stuart Scott, for showing us what it means to have passion and enthusiasm. To let your personality shine and be a part of this amazing family, we all get to call Tar Heel Nation. We're all over the place. And every time we see one another, it's always the same thing. Yo, what up, Tar Heel? We just saw, yo, what's up, Tar Heel? We all do it. Well, all of us except Rasheed Wallace. I saw Rasheed, I said, yo, what up, Tar Heel? He just stared at me. I'd have no other choice, man. I had to tee him up twice and throw him out the game. I graduated from UNC in 2006. So when I started, we had a couple lackluster years in Carolina basketball. Years that may be seasons we want to forget about. But when we hired Roy Williams as our head coach, we started Late Night with Roy. And you know who got us fired up for that? Stuart Scott. I'll never forget when he came out there. We're all screaming, yelling. And he points to the UNC logo in the middle of center court. He said, that's what it's all about right there. That's on the floor. That's on your shirt. That's in your heart. And that was awesome because finally we had something to be proud about. Finally, we got fired up. After late night was over, I walked over, walked over to him, hoping he would recognize me. And not only did he recognize me, but Stuart Scott gave me his cell phone number. He gave me his personal cell phone number and told me, if you ever have any questions, just let him know. And believe me, I did several times. One of our supervisors at the time actually introduced us and I can just remember how nervous I was, but he was just so supportive. And more than anything, he was a real person. I called him and he picked up and we had a really good conversation. We talked about what I wanted to do in journalism. Sue gave me some really good advice and just encouragement. Every day that I'm here in this studio and living out my dream, 
I get to live through him, his passion, his energy, just everything that he gave to the sports industry, to journalism, and just to other young people who want to live out their dream. What really left a major impression on me was the fact that Stuart Scott was at ESPN. He had made it in this industry, and he was still willing to pay it forward and help students like myself who were just trying to break into this business. He was absolutely transcendent in the sports broadcasting world. Stuart Scott was a superhero to me in sports journalism, and I attribute him as to the reason why I get to do this every day. Thank you, Stu, for making all of us better people for knowing you. Thanks, Stu. Huge thank you to one of my favorites and someone I am a huge fan of, Mr. Stuart Scott. Hugs and hand pounds. Stuart Scott, you are and always will be as cool as cool as the other side of the pillow as the other side of the pillow. Can I get a witness from the congregation? Booyah! <laughs>